Um, you've been training for a while now. It must be nice that you've got that availability and you can actually start playing if needs be. Yeah, yeah I've been here a couple of weeks now and I'm just starting to get playing. Yeah, it's obviously it's been a few tough games for the lads, but I think we're ready now to get going again and uh, yeah, I can't wait to be involved. How tough has it been, the fact that you had your full season over in the League of Ireland and then you've had to come straight in and, and not have much of a break straight into the middle of a, another season? Yeah, well, it was, it was what I wanted to do. I wanted to get in. I wanted to be able to hit the ground running in January. I didn't want to be coming in after six weeks off and getting lazy. So I said, yeah, I'll come in early. I'll get it done. And now I'm well in with the lads. I feel good in training and yeah, I'm ready to go. And you had a brilliant last season, in particular in the League of Ireland. Did that make you feel like, yes, I'm ready now to, to make that step up, to make that move? Yeah, those last few games I had in the league were, were brilliant. They gave me that confidence coming over here. And then when I came over here, I brought it into training and brought it into my game and just my attitude, tried to lift the place up and obviously I'm coming in with a lot of confidence and I'm ready to bring it in now with, with Lincoln. I know you played in a more advanced role in the kind of final few games of the, the season, but where is, is Jack Moylan's ideal position, do you think? Uh, anywhere along the front three, really. Obviously, we play with a stri two strikers or a 10 or a striker and two 10, so any of those three, really. Obviously, look, when I'm on the pitch, I really don't care where it is. We want to be involved every game, so yeah, any of them three would be would realistically be the best thing. And how have you found training? Has it been much different from League of Ireland in terms of the standard? Yeah, it's a bit, obviously, it's obviously more intense, more physical. Standards obviously up a bit, but yeah, look, I feel like obviously those last six weeks have helped me settle in. Probably took a while to get going at the start. Naturally enough, I think it's I'm only human, so but yeah, I feel up to it now, and I just can't wait to go. And we're seeing quite a few players now, not just here at Lincoln, but in in this transfer window in particular, players moving over from the League of Ireland to, to League One, League Two, to the Championship. Do you think people are starting to really take note of that division and, and the quality that's there? Yeah, look, I, I know it's probably not talked about enough. Like I've sparred the league as a young kid, and I still watch every game on a Friday night. The league's really good, and there's no way around. I think people look down a bit too much. There's young lads coming in that are so good, like, and they're going to be made stay there now because of Brexit, so they have to stay till they're 18. But the more publicity the league gets, the more lads that are coming over here. I think five or six have come over in this window itself. So it's up to us as well to prove it over here that we can do it over here as well, and that the league's going in the right place. And the fans are going to more games over in the league as well. And look, it's, it's fantastic. It's grown. All the clubs are grown. They don't think it's probably. And it's, yeah, like, look, I can't thank the league enough, and I can't promote enough. So. Uh, and Lincoln, obviously had a, a good few players come over now including yourself has that helped you to settle in as well because they can guide you as to what it's going to be like yeah the Irish lads have been great like, it's like, it just, I think the six of us like a little family kind of so <laughs> yeah they're, uh, they've been great lads they've took me under their wing they are playing in the league as well so they're, they're well used to that kind of transition phase I think Dylan done literally exactly what I did last week came over, came over last year had those six weeks and now the same thing with him he's fine so yeah he's, he's really helped me as well and from the games that you've watched so far, have you been able to, to look at things and go, this is where I think I'll be able to take advantage and where I think I can use my ability and strengths? Yeah, definitely. Like, I think well, the results haven't gone away, but we're, we're going as a team and we're doing things right in training and the manager's doing things right and I can see it on training that it's happening. So, like, not that we're worried about what's happening in games, but now that I'm coming in, I feel I'll be able to contribute with goals and assist. I'd like to think that's my game. It's probably what I'm best at. So. Obviously, we're probably struggling a bit at the moment with that, but yeah, I definitely feel like we can help in that area. Yeah, Lincoln fans have been crying out for somebody who can score goals and set up goals. Does that put any pressure, do you think, on yourself, or is that something you relish as a footballer? Look, that's where you get up in the morning. Like, if I didn't have pressure, or I wasn't worried or stressed, like, you're playing the wrong game. You're supposed to have pressure as a footballer. You're supposed to take grief. Like, I think people that fall under pressure, it's not the spot for them. And look, I love it. If, if there's pressure on me, I'll, I'll stand up and I'll take it. So. Uh, and that must be exciting, that first game. It's uh, still a while away, and I think Wickham have got one of your former teammates or friends alongside it, playing. You know, that could be a, a great first game for you. Yeah, I can't wait. Obviously, Killian's playing for them. He only lives like, literally 30 seconds away from me back in Dublin. So, yeah, look, I can't wait. I've been, I'm just starting to go probably get a bit agitated now that I just want to play a game. I want to get involved. And obviously, it hasn't helped with, with the, this week being a break against Shrewsbury. But it's given us as a team 10 days in the training ground, proper training. The last two or three days have been really good and trained. Everyone's fine, everyone's ready to go. So, yeah, I can't wait for working there. And the fact you've had a couple of behind closed doors games, has that helped in terms of just maintaining that fitness that you had from the end of the season? Yeah, like you can only train so much, really. You need to get 90 minutes in every once in a while to play two or three. And I'm feeling good in them. I felt fine. I wasn't, uh, I felt fit, I felt strong. There was no injury. So, yeah, and that helps you grow. Like, they might not obviously be the same standard as League One games, but they give you that incentive to keep going and pushing on.